Understanding data memorization is fundamental to our understanding of the inner workings of neural networks with broad implications on privacy, explainability, artistic synthesis, and more. The information contained inside trained image classifiers is empirically known to be aligned with the training data. To name a few examples, visualization techniques like Nui et al. synthesize high-quality class-conditioned images, and the seminal Deep Dream by Modvintsev et al. manipulates input images to better align with data classes as perceived by a trained classifier. Unsurprisingly, the results are semantically correlated with the data on which the models were trained. But is it possible to reconstruct exact training samples from a trained classifier? This is studied from the perspective of privacy, where various attacks try to extract sensitive information from a trained model like model inversion or membership inference. These usually assume restricted setup like few samples per class, assuming knowledge of gradients or knowledge of specific training samples. In our work, we show reconstruction of large portions of actual training samples from a trained binary MLP classifier with no additional information on the training data. Our method is motivated from the theory of implicit bias of gradient descent. Let us briefly explain. Empirically, DNNs generalize very well to unseen data. This has puzzled theoreticians. Why, from the many solutions that can fit a given data, DNNs converge to solutions that generalize so well? Sudri et al. showed that on separable data, logistic regression classifier trained with gradient descent converges to the maximum margin solution similar to hard SVM, which is known to generalize better. This is called the implicit bias of gradient descent, and it was later generalized to deeper networks. More specifically, a binary classifier phi with parameters theta trained with gradient descent on a labeled dataset XIYI will converge to a solution of the following set of equations, also called the KKT conditions of a maximum margin problem. Lambda i's are the scalar KKT multipliers. Note that these equations relate the parameters of the models to samples from the training set. Our key observation is that given a trained model with fixed parameters that converge to this solution, the same set of equations can be optimized, but with respect to the samples XI, thus reconstructing part of the samples from the training set. To solve this optimization problem, we formulate our loss function accordingly. Note that L theta corresponds to equation number one and L lambda to equation number three. L prior is optional, where we require each pixel in the reconstructed images to be between minus 1 and 1. To sum up our reconstruction scheme, given a trained binary classifier phi with fixed parameter theta, we initialize xi and lambda i at random and assign the yi in a balanced manner. We then proceed to minimize the total loss. This is how the optimization looks like on a classifier trained on image samples from the CIFAR-10 dataset. See how the different initializations slowly drift into training samples by trying to minimize our proposed loss. Here are some more experimental results. We use a three-layer fully connected MLP on training set of 500 images, 250 images per class. We train the model once to classify between vehicles and animals from CIFAR-10 and once on odd even digits from MNIST. Both models achieve generalization accuracy of 80%, which is far from random. Here, reconstruction from MNIST, compared to nearest neighbors from the training set. And here are reconstructions from CIFAR-10. Note the large portion of training samples that can be reconstructed from the models. A nice analysis of our scheme can show the relation of our reconstructions to the theoretical framework. Note that from equation 2, all training samples should lie on the margin or further. From equation 4, lambda i vanishes for samples that are away from the margin. This means that the only data points to participate in equation 1 are those on the margin. Namely, we don't expect to reconstruct samples away from the margin. To visualize this property, for each image in the training set, we look for its best reconstruction in terms of SSAM, then plot this score against the model output on this image. Higher SSAM score means better reconstruction, and the further the model output is from zero, the further the sample is from the margin. See that the, we only reconstruct samples that lie on the margin, and also that there are more samples on the margin that were not reconstructed. We use these plots to show good reconstruction from various MLP architectures. For more results and detailed explanations, please visit our project page.